Anyway, surprising and disappointing uh, weekend for sure. Uh, wasn't what we had planned for or hoped for to start the Pac-10 with, with two consecutive losses after going seven straight games unbeaten and in that run scoring 12 and conceding only two to have the goals you know, scored upon us to give up four in yesterday's game was obviously a surprise to everybody. Um, four of the five goals on the weekend we conceded were on standard situations which are restarts where we get into our positions and defend areas. Uh, it's, we've defended those situations dozens of times in the last month with fairly good success, never conceding a goal since the opening goal that was scored against us way back you know, in the first game, September 3rd. So that's got us a little bit surprised, but uh, those are fixable things. Um, they need to be addressed and can be fixed on the practice field. Our overall defending in the run of play, the much harder things to do, arguably, were in, were in place. And on outside looking in, we lost to two ranked teams away by a single goal. And the positives are there that we have to look at. And those are that, you know, those are two of the ranked teams in our conference. And we, on a better day, a different day, we could have won both games. Certainly, we felt we gave one away yesterday with how we lost it in overtime. But um, the same players that performed well and had us on a seven game unbeaten streak are still with us and we're determined to get back on the practice field and put those situations right and get back to our winning ways. We're faced now, we've played more games than we have to play. We have eight remaining, uh, five home games, time for us to make our move. The players are all aware of that. And uh, in some ways, knowing that you have to do something is a, <laughs> Is, is lifting, uh, uplifting, and certainly we're going into this week with a spirited attitude to put things right this weekend at home.